Hello and thank you uh, for joining me on today's uh, video series installing uh, IBM Lotus Traveler on uh, IBM Lotus Domino on CentOS 6. I am Devin Olson and today is going to be um, the next part in the, in, in, the, in the video series. We're actually configuring the Domino server. In the last video we did the install. We're sitting here right at the end of the installation and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started. As I stated at the end of the last video, our instructions about what we need to do are sitting right here. So if you've been following along, you'll, you'll, you should be able to, uh, to complete this. It's pretty, pretty, pretty easy. I'm going to hit enter to finish that out. Now you'll notice step one, login is appropriate. Unix user notes. Up here it says notes, but right here it's up, up here. Let me move the mouse. I got moving too fast. There in the upper right hand corner says notes. That tells me who I logged into the machine as. But now you'll notice here it says root. That's because I had changed the super user. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit exit, E-X-I-T, and press enter. And now you'll see we're back to the notes user. So now I can continue these instructions under the context of the notes user. It's really pretty much that simple. So I'll just follow the instructions. We're just They're written right there in front of us. We go C uh, space slash local space L-O-C-A-L space slash notes data and uh, um, and then I'm going to and so I'm done there um, and now I'm going to issue the next command um, slash OPT slash IBM slash LOTUS slash PIN slash server press my enter key <coughs> and here we go server configuration is going to start up pay attention over here um, to this Lotus Domino server desktop thing because it's going to change on us as we're going through the server setup here and we're pretty much going to take take the defaults um, so domino server setup yay I'm going to choose next set up the first server or standalone in this case I'm choosing to set up a first server because it's a demo it's not going to be part of my real um, domain or anything it's going to be deleted shortly after this uh, server name let's call it a demo one uh, server title uh, traveler demonstration server. I'm going to go ahead and choose next. I do not want to use an existing ID. We're going to create it all from the very beginning. Uh, organization name is uh, uh, demo. I'm going to do something here that you should never under any circumstance do and I'm going to give you my password. P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. That's about the weakest password I can think of. P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. Other than like Lotus Notes that they used to have in the training years ago. Um, again, this is a demo, so we don't really care because, again, it's going to be deleted very shortly. Don't ever use a weak password for your cert organization certifier password. You should know that. I'm not going to preach. Uh, domino domain name, uh, Acme, because that's the example. So we're going to have some fun there. Press next. Uh, first name of my administrator, well, that's going to be me, so I'm Devin. And my last name is not notes. It's um, Olson. Uh, administrator password P A S S W O R D P A S S W O R D. I'm not using an existing administrator ID. I want it to create one for me, so I'm going to hit next. I do want to do all of these things. I want web browsers and internet mail and directory services on this server simply because I want it <coughs> to truly demonstrate some of the capability. I'm going to press next. That all looks good. I'm happy with that. I'm going to press next. The, this screen, Security Domino Surfer. Okay, this is one place where I am going to talk a little bit about security. And I'm going to say, right down here at the bottom, if you are not sure, leave both options selected. Meaning option one, prohibit anonymous, anonymous access to all databases and templates. And option two, add local domain admins group to all databases and templates. To be honest with you, I cannot think of any reason whatsoever under any condition or circumstances to not check these. Um, I don't even understand why they're an option. Well, they're an option because everything is configurable, yay, it's an open system, blah, 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 blah. But truthfully, don't ever leave these unchecked. Always, always do that. Hit next. Here's a quick summary of what we're going to do. I'm happy. I don't need to make any changes. I'm going to hit, hit setup. And the server setup is going to proceed. And it's really fairly quick. It's it's not slow at all. There we go. We're done. And I'm going to hit finish. And we're back here. Life is good. Pretty good. I'm, I'm happy. So I'm going to hit exit. And we're done with that. So now I want to start my Domino server. 
and it's pretty easy. I have this nice little icon on my desktop. I guess I don't need this screenshot anymore, do I? I can delete that. Um, I have this nice little icon on my desktop. When I double click on it, some crazy interesting things are going to happen because this is a Linux environment. So double click, I get this thing because that which was created as an application launcher and the the operating system doesn't know what that is. So I'm going to just say yes, mark as trusted and you'll notice it's going to change. And it's now an application launcher that is now trusted by the OS and I'm going to go ahead and double click on it and look at that. Here we have a terminal. It's asking for a password. This is the notes user's password which if you remember is notes. Pretty easy. And look at that. My Domino server is starting up. I'm going to take a quick print screen. I'll come back to that in a few minutes as to why I took that print, quick print screen. I'm going to save that. So there's that screenshot and the server starting up we can see all the wonderful tasks and services and processes beginning LDAP is beginning hey I'm, I'm pretty happy it looks like the servers servers starting to run it's getting exciting yay but there's gonna be a problem and the HTTP server is trying to start up but there's gonna be a problem let's wait and see what the problem is right there there's another problem I'm gonna print screen that and we're going to save that and screenshot one.png and we'll save that. So here are the two issues that we need to deal with now that Domino has been installed. The first issue doo, 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 doo. warning the maximum number of files handles allowed for Domino is 1024. See the Lotus Techno 12211870 to know how to allocate it and that's a pretty simple fix and uh, when I say pretty simple I mean really really simple so let's fire up a browser